Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it's time for a Maple Monday. It is September 17th, 2012. A glorious Monday it is. I hope you guys will be having a good week so far. Good luck on the new week. A lot of new stuff is coming out for MapleStory guys, so I hope you guys are pretty excited. For GMS, the Champions update is coming out, and in KMS, the Evolving System is coming out. So those are the two things I'm going to go ahead and talk about in this Maple Monday, so definitely stay tuned, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. So for GMS, the Champions update is coming out, which is going to be pretty exciting. There's a lot of new stuff that's going to be happening. There's going to be a huge revamp for a lot of classes. And the reason why I'm super excited about this update is yes, that is right, the archers are getting revamped. Pew, pew. We can finally use our bows majestically now, like how we're supposed to. Manly men. And manly ladies. I'm just kidding. Girls can be archers also. But the champions update is supposed to be coming out on September 25th, 2012. So we're, that's something we can look forward to. So the revamps are going to be pretty intense. It seems like they're going to be really revamping on the warriors, as well as magicians, bowmans, Mercedes, demon slayers, and... Yes, that is right, Cannoneers. So all the legends plus the warriors, archers, and magicians. So that's going to be something we can definitely look forward to. I'm sorry, thieves and pirates out there. You're out of luck. So I'm going to go ahead and go through each of the classes and kind of just say what I think is the most interesting revamp that's going to be happening and why it's so beneficial. So the Warriors, um, I've noticed something that's really intense, that the power stance is being more, I guess, efficient. So that's going to be pretty cool because a lot of you guys are like, well, Warriors, you know, everyone has 100% power stance already. The Mihail is like already so intense with power stance. But now the Warriors can finally shine. They got a lot of, I guess, a huge boost in the power stance. So that'll be really nice. The rush skill for Warriors as well has been improved and it just says warriors mobility and overall attack skills are improved so it seems like each of these classes though the damage is going up something i noticed about the magicians revamp is that the magicians finally can stack with their magic attack potions as well as the buff so that's really cool because i remember when rage wasn't able to stack with pots and people would hate the warriors because they would rage over their pots and it would waste their potions but now everyone can be bonding and friendly together bowmans can now have the phoenix and frost prey as a passive of skill instead of having to be summoned. I remember when the Phoenix and the Frost Prey actually had to have the summoning rock, but now it does not require one anymore. Now for the Legends classes, of course, Mercedes, Demon Slayer, and Cannoneer, it's pretty cool because they're just going to be raising the attack, of course. Damage is going up, so that's always nice, you know, to see that happen. But something really caught my attention is that now it says that every three Legend classes are able to be made. They took away the Cannoneer for a while, which was a pretty big bummer, and I'm going to tell you why. The Cannoneer, guys, is the trick of of making mesos. So when this patch comes out, I advise you guys to at least make two cannoneers on your main account or even in a mule account. The reason why I say this is because the cannoneers inventory space is so huge. They can carry so many things without getting the extended inventory slot. My cannoneer is a huge mule. He holds so many of my stuff and just think if you had a crafting mule as a cannoneer. Those cannoneers definitely can be the best crafting mules ever. They can craft so many items. They can hold so many items, so many materials. So definitely guys, I suggest you to make a cannoneer if you do not have one yet because they will probably take it away again. In this new Champions update, PvP is coming back. It seems like it's revamped and better than ever. They're pretty impressed and actually excited about it, it seems like. So it seems like only a certain amount of times throughout the day you can go ahead and hunt in PvP. Will the skill renting be back? I'm not sure. Probably not because Nexon's all on that case now. <laughs> Too much skill renting going on, so that's not good. But I am pretty excited to see what they have in store for the PvP because it says that our skills are required so I'm hoping not our character skills but our skills because that's what PvP is about is that competitiveness is when our skills are are required. They also said something about an extra potential system. This kind of really caught my attention also because it seems like they're trying to add another line to the potential system. I'm not sure if that's another line only from 2 to 3, but maybe potentially 3 to 4. I hope not. That would be pretty crazy. Um, a lot more cubing will be required, but uh, that's what it says, so maybe there'll be 4 lines, but I really highly doubt it. I'm thinking that it's just saying 2 to 3, but of course we'll go ahead and find out pretty soon here. The Fusion Anvil is pretty Pretty cool. It's also coming out with the Champions update. The Fusion Anvil is actually something that I saw in Guild Wars 2, this game that I've been playing for a little bit. You can actually take two items and transfuse them and transfer the stats on one item to another item just in case if you don't like how the other item looks. So this is pretty interesting that they did this because there's a lot of items out there that we think, oh wow, that item just looks totally cool, but the item that I have right now is way powerful, 
but it just looks like poop. What do I do, you know? Do I just swing my poop stick all over the place, or do I use my really awesome, flashy, beautiful pony? So now you can change all that stats to the poop from the poop stick to the pony, so the pony will be super powerful, and the poop stick will be just a poop stick. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, I want my level 130 weapon to have the looks of a level 10 weapon, but has the stats of a level 130 weapon. Wouldn't that be pretty interesting? I don't know if you can do that, but I think that'd be pretty cool. And of course, the last little nit bit on the Champions update is a pet die is coming out, so that's, I guess, another little add-on there that you can go ahead and abuse your pets and color them with love <laughs> and make them all different colors of your choice. So I guess you can have a blue bean instead of a pink bean. So for KMS, they're receiving a new thing called the Evolving System. Now this is something that is it seems like it's going to be pretty big and game changing. There's a lot of videos out there already that people have made. You've probably seen Sky Combat, Rage Sonic, or Copper Sand. They've made some videos already talking about the Evolving Systems. And So the Evolving System, guys, is something that's very interesting and I want to go ahead and share my own personal personal thoughts on it. You can customize your own hunting ground for your liking. That's what I'm kind of reading on this and apparently can enter it maybe five or six times a day. Um, we'll probably receive more information on it later, but I guess some of you guys do know a lot more about the evolving system, but for me what I read upon and kind of what it seems like is that you can go ahead and get these cores and what you use with these cores is you go ahead and make your map a certain way that you like it. A certain background, certain monsters inside the map, what they drop even, how much EXP they give. So this this seems like you're almost setting up your own personal training ground. You can go in with a party, you can go in by yourself, and the thing is you can also spawn boss monsters and they can drop the same things that a boss would actually drop. So some of the things that you can go ahead and change with the cores and even customize your own map is you can even change the music, the monster skin, the monster spawn, the drop rate. You can make monsters fly over the place. You can have monsters doing different things, so it's like a really customized map just for you and this almost made me feel like like my personal house idea I don't know if you guys remember that video of making a house and decorating it up it's almost like that but except it's just a huge map and it's kind of like interesting that they're kind of getting into that more personalized customization and I'm really interested in seeing if the boss spawns will affect any of the item changes because well if you can spawn bosses anytime you want and you can get their items prices will decrease for some of the items. So the evolving system seems pretty unique, pretty interesting, and I'm really curious to read more about it. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so definitely I will be reading up on that, and we'll go ahead and venture in more on the Maple Mondays on the, probably the evolving system once it gets more in-depth, and we have more of a clue on what it does. Something else that's coming with the evolving system is that also they're changing up the squad requirements for going into boss maps. So that remember you had to get like six people or five people in a party to in order to fight Zakum or Hilla or Von Leon. Well, apparently they're saying that no more five people parties are required. You can just go in by yourself. That's taking away, I guess, the party aspect of fighting a boss, but you can de definitely just go in and solo it yourself if you want to. Also, they're adding secondary weapons for classes, so this means that each class will have a secondary weapon. I'm not sure what this means, if they can just change to a different weapon, like a two-handed sword to, or one-handed sword, or if it's going to actually be something they can equip somewhere else, and they can use it both at the same time, like a demon slayer with the shield and the sword. Well, guys, this has been Maple Monday, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys found something something interesting about it. <laughs> but yeah, we have a lot to look forward to in MapleStory. Seems like Nexon is doing still a good job to pushing out content and still trying to just maintain updates, so that's good. But we'll see where this heads us. We got the Champions update coming up for GMS as well as the evolving system for KMS. So lots of new things we can look forward to. And let's just find out when they're going to be releasing some new Archer classes for us manly men out there. <laughs> well guys, like always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Deboki on Maple Monday. 